Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for stopping in and watching the Cali Truck Stop Theater. So, you know, guess what? I found my glasses. Um, I've been running around here lately without my, <coughs> excuse me, without my sunglasses. And I'm like, I couldn't figure out where the hell I put them things, you know? And so I, I, I was uh, going through... Um, going through some things uh some uh yesterday uh, not yesterday a couple days ago and i found them i put them in the uh in the little cubby hole up, up above me which is where i i usually would keep it but i wasn't thinking about it and i i, I must have put it up there um while i was on autopilot which is which is the reason why that i put a i, I put the um, I put things in a certain place so that, uh, you know, because I could tend to, you know, misplace stuff. And if I put something in a, in a certain place, <clears throat> then it's just automatic that I put it there. So, um, so if I should ever, I don't know, somehow if I should ever forget of where, about where I put it at, then I know the, I know the place or places that I would, um, that I would leave it, um, just so that I don't have to, you know, uh, just so that in case I have a brain fart or whatever and I, and I forget what, what I did with it, I, I know that I can find it in, in one or one or a couple of places. <clears throat> because, you know, I've, I've done that, that. I've done it sometimes where I put stuff down and don't um, don't think about where I put it. And so then when I go and look for it, I can't find it. So if I have a place for it, and uh, um, and I just let my you know let myself you know constantly put it there all the time so that <clears throat> if sh if I should ever uh, have a uh, uh, one of those what you call brain farts, <laughs> then uh, I can the first place I can go to is the is the place that I normally would put it. So being at the case, I didn't uh, I didn't go through that process. Hence the reason why I was without my glasses for a while because I didn't I, I didn't think about <clears throat> going to one of the many places that I would normally put it in case I ever uh, misplaced my glasses so I found them and now I'm wearing them because it's bright outside so uh, <clears throat> but uh, anyways I just want to thank you for for like I said uh, for checking out my my YouTube page and uh, I decided that this is gonna be the first uh, the first video that I'm gonna put up on uh, on my LinkedIn page <clears throat> that uh, that site's gonna get you know select videos so that uh, people that are connected to me there are gonna be able to get uh, uh, to get uh, my videos um, I'm already broadcasting it on Facebook and uh, I'm going to I'm going to open up a new well if I can't find a password to it I'm going to I'm going to open up a new Instagram uh, uh account <clears throat> so that I can I can uh you know post up my stuff on Instagram too just to just to you know reach to uh different people um because you know YouTube yields to to uh, to certain people and then you got others that that are on you know Facebook a lot um, you got others that are on Instagram and you know my LinkedIn uh, my LinkedIn page is more is it's gonna be more of just uh, stuff that uh, that's related to the to the job and also as a networking tool but uh, but all the rest of them it's just, you know it's, it's um, just a, it's a chance to uh, to interact with um, with more or different people and uh <clears throat> and hopefully uh i can start uh, growing the the youtube page a little a little more but um so um so anyways this this video is uh i'm going to title it um uh, <clears throat> excuse me i got something in my throat it's not it's not corona so don't don't be thinking that i that i got something here it ain't nothing but <clears throat> ain't nothing but a little a little uh mucus you know so anyways i'm gonna title this one uh more random acts 
more random acts of um, of uh, kindness. And then I got a I got another trucking tip. Um, and so the, the trucking tips that I that I that I post up, I would I, I don't I wouldn't imagine that most of the ones that I put up here are going to be anything spectacular. But it's just something that I it's something that I that I do um, in my in my trucking experience. And so it's it's basically I'm basically just putting it out there in case uh, somebody does come along uh, along to my videos. And maybe they're interested in uh, in truck driving, or <clears throat> maybe they uh, maybe they're looking for for new tips and ideas. I mean, I I do that sometimes myself. Um, you know, get things from other from other people. But uh, it's it you know it's all about sharing information. But uh, but yeah, mainly it's going to be for uh, any of those uh, any of those people who are interested in in trucking. <clears throat> so. I'm just sharing the stuff that I that I know, the stuff that I do, and it's not there's nothing really big or spectacular, but uh, it's just sharing of, inf of information. And uh, there was something else I was going to say about that, but uh, I don't know. I lost the uh, I lost it there. <laughs> um, so, anyways, um, so so the the random acts of kindness. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna use this quote where it says. Uh, if a person receives a profit, they'll get a profit's reward. Also, if a person receives a righteous man, they'll receive a righteous man's reward. I say that because <clears throat> because I was reminded of that of that uh, of that scripture uh, because uh, yesterday I was over in Ashland, Ashland, um, Nebraska. Which is probably about uh, oh, probably about 30 miles south of Omaha, something like that. And so <clears throat> I was out there working, you know, unloading. It's it's kind of warm outside and things like that. And uh, I'm I'm just about done. Uh, well, actually, I'm pretty done, pretty much done unloading at that location. I was just cleaning up, cleaning up, and getting ready to go to the to the next uh, the next stop. And uh, this lady, she walks out of the back of the store, you know, where the stock room is at and everything else like that. And she's with, uh, <clears throat> she's with one of the, um, uh, one of the store, uh, employees. So, and, now, I gotta, I gotta stop doing this, but it's just a habit because, uh, um, how many of you, uh, how many of you are, are prone to thinking something negative <clears throat> when you gotta go, into the office to go talk to the boss or you know you uh you thinking that somebody is going is is going to be wanting something from you you know how many of you think negatively like oh my god what did this person want what you know what did i do that kind of stuff right <clears throat> that's how i was feeling because i didn't know who this i didn't know who this uh, this lady was but I, I the first thing that i assumed was that um was that she was like maybe the manager or something like that but um but i noticed that she wasn't you know she wasn't wearing a you know a dollar general shirt or anything like that but the uh the employer that she was that she was with uh was <clears throat> however the first thing i started thinking it was like um i'm thinking that she's she's like the manager and stuff like that so i'm thinking okay what is she gonna have me to have me to do what is it i'm thinking that you know she's gonna have me do something or she she didn't like how I stacked the, the the product in the back of the store or whatever, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what a, what am I gonna have? <clears throat> I gotta I gotta try and prepare myself and try to keep my keep my ego and attitude in check, you know, <laughs> and try to you know try to hear the person out. But uh, you know, so she came up to the truck and she's like, you know, hey, you know how you doing, all that kind of stuff, and and uh, and she just started telling me about you know how um she noticed that i was out here uh you know working <clears throat> and she wanted to stop by and give me uh um give me some some drinks uh and she you know she shared a little bit of a story with me she was just saying that uh you know her husband um does or, or works for warner and 
and more specifically with with the uh, Dollar General account. Um, but I, I assume that she or that that her husband is working at a different location. <clears throat> but nonetheless, she was she she said that she saw me out here and she uh, and she wanted to uh, you know drop off some uh, some some water and some Gatorade to me. Uh, just as just to show his appreciation and stuff like that because she she said that she understands um, how it can be you know rather kind of um, how it how it is you know some some tough work and especially with it starting to warm up you know you you need uh you need your fluids and so uh, she just wanted to stop by and just just say hello and and uh, and tell me you know that uh, you know that she saw she saw me working and she uh felt that she should uh you know do something you know for me because she understands uh from her husband she understands how how demanding the job is and so she just wanted to thank me and uh <clears throat> and i i think that that's uh i think that's a good thing and i think that that's something that um that should be um that should be shared with other people it's like you know you do have you do have good people out there and and a lot of times you even hear uh, you even hear about how how uh, how bad or how difficult uh, you know people can be, and I mean even even I do say it, you know say it, you know. But when um when an opportunity comes up to where um, I can I can talk about how somebody did something good, I would much rather do that you know than than anything else. And it's not like I it's not like I'm um, it's not like I always talk bad about people well i don't even really talk bad about people i'm just i i just talk about um you know some of the actions that that people do but uh but even but even when it's talking about other you know other people and what they you know how they how they act and stuff like that i don't uh i don't talk about it very much but there is occasion where i might i might say something but um but i i do want to you know i, I do want to say you know just share that with you and uh you know let you know that there are people out there uh that are watching uh watching what you do there are people that are uh compassionate to the type of job that you do and uh you know you got those that are that are bold enough to say you know hey thank you and uh we should appreciate those kind of people you know that that are bold to step up to you and, and actually you know um you know, just say, you know, hey, thank you. Thank you for uh, for what you're doing. Thank you, especially in this time where, um, you know, social distancing is, is, uh, um, is you know, key right now. Where you got, <clears throat> where the country and, and, and most of the world is shut down to where, you know, you can't, uh, you can't really do a lot of the things that, um, that you've been used to doing. So, um. So yeah, so uh, when when somebody's bold enough to just you know speak up and say hey thank you for what you do it it's a good uh, it's a good feeling you know and like I said I I need to uh, that's something that I I need to uh, work on is to not think think uh, off the bat to start thinking so negatively about uh, uh, about a, the reason why somebody's approaching me I, it got me thinking that they got me to thinking that you know that's that's how some of the uh, uh that's how a lot of your law enforcement works you know because they got to deal with the public and a lot of times they are dealing with uh, a bunch of negative negative people uh dealing with a bunch of negative situations so um so for somebody to walk up on them and just to you know just to you know say hello or thank you whatever it um it it does something to somebody's mind, you know, because especially when they're trained, um, just because of the situations that they've been in, they they they're trained to think uh, the worst first. So, um, you know, but uh, <clears throat> and that and that's just how how it was for me. Every time that I would get well, not every time, but most of the time I would get called into the to the office, or um, you know, somebody would would come up to me with something that they that they want or whatever. It's been most of the time, and so you you kind of get conditioned to that, you know. You kind of get conditioned to those kind of things. So that's something that I need to work on. Is it's not, not to you know, jump off the bat thinking something you know something bad. But uh, um, I uh, 
the the scripture that I that I gave to you, I <clears throat> I wanted to say that just because um, you know, it's a blessing for um for somebody to, you know, do something kind for you, you know. They uh in a lot of times that they do things um to the best of their ability and don't want anything back you know for it and, and that's good you know we should we should never want to do something um you know i mean on a on a regular day-to-day -day basis we should never want to um do something for someone just to get something back from them now if we do do something for somebody uh you know i mean depending on the situation but most likely than not if, if you if you're doing something for somebody you should not expect to get uh payment back uh you know for for the deeds that you do for somebody um that should that should be a standard is that if you want if you if you feel the need to do something for somebody do it um because you uh you know because you want to because you care about uh that particular person and and um you do it <clears throat> You do it with the mindset of, um, of being, you know, of being um, uh, cheerful and 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 kind-hearted, and not necessarily looking to get something back or looking to get something from that the, the person that you're helping out. Um, but the but the scripture uh, pretty much is, is is saying that. Uh, well, what what Jesus was saying was that uh, that. You know, <clears throat> you can get, in a sense, it's, you know, you can get blessed or you will be blessed uh, by, you know, helping uh, one of God's people, one of, one of his anointed people. You know, you, you get the, you'll get the blessing that that person gets. You know, you get that same blessing. You know, when, when God looks at, at the kinds of, you know, the kinds of works that you, that you're doing. You know, there's there's blessings that do come to uh, uh, that that will come to you, especially when the person that you have blessed turns around and blesses you. You know, um, you know. So just just think about that. You know, I do appreciate. Uh, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the the woman for you know stopping by with uh, with some drinks and and I appreciate anybody else that that would do something for me or or any other you know driver or um uh, uh what are the emergency worker out here you know so um but like you know I, i've said before you know don't don't just uh you know don't just think the uh, well i'll just say it from my from my perspective you know i mean you don't you don't just think a certain group of people uh, you know, just try and try and think as much as possible. Think about all the other people that um, that do uh, or that are actually being utilized. You know, um, I know a lot of truckers are are normally prone to say, "Well, you know, if, if it wasn't for us, you know, you wouldn't get your you wouldn't get your your food. You wouldn't get this. You wouldn't get that." And that's true to a point, but you know, it, it doesn't just stop with, at the truck drivers. You know, it, you got to think about those who are sitting in the, who are in the plants, who are in the, uh, who are working the assembly lines, those who are out there um, working the farms to get your food still, still processed for you. Um, those who are in the distribution centers, the, these people are also, um, are also essential workers, you know. Um, you know, it, it's good to, it's good to think the, uh, fire department, the, the the police department, the nurses, the doctors, you know, all these people. But all these people have got somebody supporting them, you know. So, um, you know, you, you, you try and think uh, others too, you know. Uh, as, as, for, as for truck drivers, I would say that, you know, truck drivers should, should thank those people that are in the warehouses and, and that are working on the plant and stuff like that and, and telling them, you know, hey, Thank you for supplying my truck with the goods that I can give, that I can uh, uh, transport to people. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have anything to transport. And thus, there would be nothing that, that the people would be able to get directly because I have nothing to transport. So these people are also putting their, 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 um, their lives on the line too, 
you know, um, in this in this day and age, because this 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 virus thing is just, it's it's crazy, you know. Um, so, you know, with that, I just say just just be careful and um, <clears throat> and uh, you know try your best to stay well and. And follow what you know. Follow what these uh, what these officials are, are saying here to you. Okay, um, it's obvious that you know that that nobody really you know has has got a, a good handle on the solution to this to this problem. So, uh, but right now, uh, trying to stay your stay your distance from people is uh, is key, and it it seems to be working, I guess. But um, but just just try just try just you know grit through and bear it i mean uh in this situation they're not they're not telling you to um stop traveling and all this kind of stuff you know just because uh, just because of uh um you know just because they they want to and and i'm going to make another video on that um at some other time because that's something else that's another another topic um that I feel like I, I want to talk about is that how some of these people are just disregarding the fact that uh, um, you know that the government and these uh, local officials are telling you certain things to do and you got people that are that are just you know blatantly um, not following it and and that's and that's a problem because if they're trying to uh if they're trying to get the get this under control we all need to cooperate but i'm not going to get into that on this video I'll, I'll i'll make another video some other time um so the next thing is trucking tips or a trucking tip i think uh i think i'll just just limit it to to uh, just one maybe i don't know i'll see but um but this this tip that I have, it's um, it's about uh, now. It's not this is not a glamorous uh, a glamorous tip. It's not you know it's um, I guess you could say it's kind of gross, but everybody does it, and it's natural and normal, and it's essential that it, that it needs to be done. However, um. You know, if you're if you're out here driving, you know, like I do, I mean, there's certain things that you got to, there's certain things that you may have to do differently, um, or or just be creative about, just basic, just because of the the type of job that you're you're doing. So, what I'm talking about is going to the bathroom. And so this, uh, you know, this 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 tip here, um, you know, sometimes. Sometimes we'll, we'll be driving, and there won't be a rest stop with the bathroom uh, in miles. You know, you, sometimes you're driving these long stretches of the road, and there's no bathrooms. There's, there's no, you know, nothing, nothing there, or, or they're closed, um, or, or, or even in this case, you know, um, you're trying as much as you can to socially distance yourself, which is, which is what. Well, I've been, I've actually been practicing the social distancing part for quite a while. You know, I whenever I stop somewhere, I rarely ever have to get out the truck. I'm I'm posted up right here in the truck most of the time, uh, staying away from people. But um, you know, you're out here driving, and a lot of times, you know, um, you you have to go to the bathroom, or maybe uh, maybe the bathroom stalls are are kind of filled up, and you got to go you know so i would just say you know there should be some things that you should you should have with you um whenever the time comes and and you need to go to the bathroom and uh, this will this will help you it'll help you to relieve yourself so um um the the first thing is is get yourself a bucket okay a nice sturdy bucket uh you can have a you can get one of those five gallon you know paint bucket style things or uh you know if you want to go compact you can get one of those three gallon uh buckets you know pick it up at at lowe's or uh 
uh, Home Depot or some of these other hardware stores, you know, whatever. Um, I I personally have a three it was a three gallon, I think that's what it is a, a three gallon uh, bucket uh, because it's a little it, you know it's a little compact for me, and so uh, um, have one of those. So uh, get you a bucket, okay. Uh, also, also with the with the bucket, um, you can get yourself a, a toilet seat that um, that's made to fit around the top of the bucket um, or if you don't want to go that route you can um, you can go uh, into the uh, the pool section and get you one of those styrofoam straws take that and um, cut it to the length of to the to the circumference of the bucket there and you know attach it to the bucket that uh, that's going to be your your cushioning uh, to sit on the bucket to try and make it a little more, a uh, little more pleasant to sit down on. Um, so, so yeah, you, you know, you get the you get the bucket. You got your little uh, styrofoam, um, your little styrofoam uh, 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 straw there, and that's your that's going to be your your toilet, your commode. And now, now don't, 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 don't use the bathroom in just the bucket this is what I do I I kind of double layer the inside of the bucket okay I get um I get one of those garbage uh, garbage bags like uh, um, you know like like one of them 13 gallon uh, garbage bags and I'll put it inside the bucket okay that's that's as a as a lining and then but what I what I really do is I once I have that I also take um, one another another plastic bag you know kind of like either either like a grocery bag one that ain't got no holes in it or um, you know like some of those are uh, those office trash bags you know the little clear them clear trash bags you see in the little waste baskets in, in, in your office or, or in, in the office um, I get some of get some of those I, I have those so I got I got the bucket with my with my my you know um with the trash bag inside there and then i take that that office bag put that on the on the uh, uh inside the bucket as well and that's that's where i will go to the bathroom at um make sure the bag doesn't have you know holes in it because you know you try you try try to preserve the um um the larger bag only thing the larger bag is there just to in case I in case I spring a leak in the original bag, it's not going all over in inside of the uh, inside the actual bucket, you know. So it's it's a way of keeping the bucket you know relatively clean, where you don't have to do too much uh, too much cleaning. So you uh, get the bucket, get your little start from straw, get your get your couple of trash bags um, to use, and. Uh, Get some, get some, um, uh, some Fabuloso. I, I use the Fabuloso. It, it, to me, it, it works, um, pretty well because, you know, you're kind of funky. <laughs> you're kind of funky when you, when you're doing a do. So, uh, I just take a, take about, I don't know, um, just pour a little bit of Fabuloso in there and, uh, you know that's that's the to, to disinfect you know as, as or or to you know die off um, whatever odors that will come up you know um, so that so you get that and then um, of course get your get your toilet paper however you get it just make sure you get it make sure you get some toilet paper um, one of the things that um, uh, well at least when I go to the Walmart and stuff, I haven't seen these flying off the shelves, but get some baby wipes. Get you a couple containers of those baby wipes or whatever and uh, and use those. I I'll I'll go into more detail about using those later on, but you you get your toilet paper, you get your, your baby wipes. Um get your get you some disinfectant spray. Uh if you don't if you're not able to get the disinfectant spray, make your own. And uh <clears throat> 
you know, you're going to do your do. So after everything's done, you go ahead and take that, that office bag that you, you put in there, tie it up, you know, do what you do, whatever you got to do, and then find a place to dispose of it properly. Um, so if you don't have a place to dispose of it properly, then maybe you might need to go in and dig a hole somewhere and drop it in a hole or something like that, you know? So maybe, maybe keeping a spade with you is, uh, um, is something that you, you could use too. um, uh, you know have with you but uh, you know get that um, get some disinfectant spray because what you're going to do is that you're going to spray the um, now I I leave the uh, the 13 gallon uh, trash bag in the bucket uh, unless unless there's a mess in there but I, I usually will leave that in there as a as a protective liner on the bucket but I, I take the uh, disinfectant and I spray the hole inside that bucket down really good, you know, and then, uh, you know, spray all around the area where, you know, where you were uh, using the bathroom at, uh, clean up any messes or whatever. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, with the Fabuloso in there and your disinfectant spray, it should be, uh, uh, you know, you shouldn't, shouldn't have too many problems with the... Uh, uh, with the odor. Uh, something else that you could use is that uh, to, to combat the odor is that, you know, um, a lot of you have done this before where you can you can <clears throat> light matches, you know, light matches and, and that that helps dissipate, you know, any odors and stuff like that. Light a candle or something like that. So, um, you know, have those things. Now the baby wipes, a after you done wiped your, wiped your butt or whatever, you know, with the paper, with the, uh, um, with the toilet paper, take some baby wipes and just go over, you know, go over certain areas of your body and, and wipe up and get all the dirt and everything out from between your butt crack and, um, you know, your genitals and stuff like that. But, uh, but <clears throat> I say get the baby wipes and, and use those quite a bit, especially when, uh, Especially when it comes time to where, you know, you don't have access to a shower. Sometimes you don't have access to a shower. Get that baby wipe. Start wiping your skin off, your skin down, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, that, and, um, um, you know, get, your, get yourself cleaned up. Uh, the baby wipes, they're good for, um, you know, getting up under the underarms and, you know, scrubbing around your, your, uh, your private areas. Just so that you can, you know, try to stay fresh until you uh, until you make it to a shower, and then um uh oh yeah where did that where to go here you know get your uh uh let's see here how about that can we anyways you know get your um your disinfectant your hand sanitizer I know it's kind of hard to uh. You know to come across the stuff nowadays um i I'm, I'm, i actually got got this from um uh from one of the places that i that i went to go um uh you know pick a load up from so some of these companies are, are giving these things away to truck drivers but uh wherever you can find the disinfectant the uh, the hand sanitizer stock up on hand sanitizer use that that way you you done use the baby wipes to wipe off your wipe off any dirt and grime and stuff off your hands and you take the hand sanitizer and get your get your uh your hand all uh, sanitized and cleaned up. So uh, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean you already know what to do with the with the stuff that you with the with the waste and everything. But anyways, that's that's just something that you uh that you may you may want to you know invest in that get yourself a bucket some trash bags um the uh the styrofoam straws and then uh you know like i said use that as a cushion on, on the bucket and uh get your toilet paper get your uh baby wipes get your fabuloso you know and get your hand sanitizer also your disinfectant spray this will uh this will help you or this this will make it easier for you to be able to relieve yourself whenever you need to and and a bathroom is not available or you just don't want to be uh, uh bothered with with people and and i i generally uh well more nowadays than, than ever is that i generally will 
uh, will you know use uh, the technique I just described uh, just basically because um, you know I don't want to be in the in the toilet stall you know uh, in the public place and you know having to you know having to try to rush uh, going to the bathroom and stuff like that so somebody else can use the bathroom or so or or because I, I don't want to smell somebody else's funk you know but um, um, me doing it uh, you know me doing it you know at or in my truck it, it it allows me to be more comfortable allows me to be able to take care of my business more effectively versus you know being there in, in a in a busy public bathroom so uh, uh, for those of you who are out there driving, I mean, that's something to think about, you know, get get that, uh, get those items, and, uh, you know, that'll work for you. Anyways, I want to thank you for, for uh, you know, checking out my video, and uh, if you, now, seen it, now I'm putting this on, on LinkedIn, so I'm going to get, uh, I'm getting my, uh, um, you know, I'm going to start putting putting videos up there as well but um, if you if if this is your first time seeing me uh, seeing my my videos what you need to do is hit that subscribe button and uh, also the notification bell select all so that you can get all of my videos as uh, as I post them up there and uh, hit the like button now I got I have uh, I've gotten 20 I got 22 subscribers now now I, I don't know about who there was somebody else who has subscribed to me but I don't know who it is I did I didn't I didn't get no no email notification or anything like that and I can't quite tell who it is that uh, that had you know just joined so I'm at a loss to whoever whoever that that 22nd person is but um, um, you know if I if I knew who you was I would have already been uh, shouting you out, but anyways, uh, if you uh, if you're a new subscriber to me, um, and I get the notification that you've subscribed to me, I'm gonna shout you out and be like, hey, you know, so and so just subscribed to my channel, you know, thank you and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, I got 22. My goal is to get 25, so I'm just I just need three more people, three more people uh, to become. <clears throat> Cali Truck Stop Theater subscribers, and then uh, um, uh, my goal is that for each video, I want to get I want to get at least 15 likes. So, uh, so if you're watching this video, just go ahead and click on the like button, saying that you like the video, okay? And I'm gonna try and bring you some more um, some more content uh, as I think about it, or as I have time to do so. I haven't done too many videos here lately because I. Uh, uh, this Dollar General thing has been kind of, you know, wearing me out. But um, but I'm I'm getting in the groove of it. I'm not getting so so tired uh, physically uh, when I'm doing it. So um, so you know I, I'm I'm pushing on through it. I, I think I'm pushing through uh, the first of many possible difficulties, and so coming out all okay with it. And uh, it's it's not it's not too bad really. I mean, my only my only thing about it is that uh, these loads are not uh, always packed properly. So, you know, my only uh, my only uh, um, um, negative thing about this account is that um, you know, depending on how it's on how it's uh, made or how how that load is is packed in the trailer, if it's if it's made poorly, you know, I find myself having to pick up. Uh, you know, loose boxes and stuff like that, two and three, four times before it actually gets into the store. So that's the part that that kind of irritates me because I'm like, I'm like, come on now, you learn how to stack stuff in these roll tainers and and you know keep a lot of these things in the roll tainers and have good working roll tainers and and equipment and stuff because, geez, product is getting lost because of the, you know because of that. You know, um, but also my time is, is is valuable, and it needs it, it. I need to have a smooth operation. And so when, um, when the uh, when the trailers aren't loaded properly, it it does take away from the time that I so preciously need to uh, um, to finish all my stops. And so I don't like having to 
I don't like having to hang around at a place any longer than, than necessary. Uh, so just, uh, you know, pulling these things out and getting them in the store is good enough for me. I don't want to have to keep, you know, picking up after stuff. Anyways, that can be another video too. I've already, I've already talked your, your ears off already. And it's already uh, a long video, which I, I I can't seem to get any, get uh, I can't seem to make myself uh, I can't seem to make these these videos any any um, any shorter, you know. Um, I guess it's just I'm uh, I'm saying too much, <laughs> saying too much. Uh, I need to learn how to not say so much, I guess. But anyways, check out my other videos uh, and there again subscribe to my my channel. And uh, if, uh, if you're a new subscriber, I will shout you out, let you know that I, I, I see you, and I thank you. All right. God bless you. God damn this corona.